I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. It's me, Pastor Russ, and at Kids Alive, we always start with prayer. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this wonderful new day to be alive. Thank you for dying on the cross to save us for our sins. Thank you for all the beautiful things you've created, the birds and the trees, the flowers and the grass, and um, man that you've created in your own image, our fingers and toes and hair and ears and noses, Lord God, and the, all the things that we get to live and do and experience. Thank you for loving us so much. I pray today that you would be welcome in this place. I invite your Holy Spirit to dwell with us, to spend this time together wherever we are, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. I pray that our worship would be pleasing to you, and I pray that your holy word would go deep into our hearts and change us to become more like Jesus so that we can honor you and love you. I pray that you protect us from everything that could hurt us, any kind of harm, any kind of trouble today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's sing a song together. It's time for worship. Let's sing song 97 together. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the earth rejoice. Let the earth rejoice. singing everyone and now it's time for our bible verse with our very furry happy friend scripture squirrel hey scripture squirrel hey there Pastor Russ. hey buddy are you ready to do our memory verse together i am ready to do it it's a new one every monday we start a new one that's right that's the process all right well what's the verse for this week it's matthew 16 25 what's it say for whoever wants to save their life will lose it but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Whoa, that's really powerful. Yes. Um, so that's Jesus talking in that one, right? Yes, it's Jesus. If we try to save our lives, we will lose it. But if we give it away, seeking him, we will find it. That's very good. I'm sure we're going to talk about that sometime this week. Yes, probably we are. All right, anything else you want to say to the kids today, Scripture Squirrel? One more thing. Hi, right, kids. I love you. Thank you, Scripture Squirrel. Good job again. All right, today's May 17th, and this is the Fire Bible for Kids devotional. You can get this at myhealthychurch.org.com. Excuse me, myhealthychurch.com. And uh, today's is called Billions and Billions. Find it in the Bible. Acts 2.39 says, The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, 
for all whom the Lord our God will call. I wonder what this promise is talking about. Let's figure it out. Well, did you know that the Walton family, at the time of this book, that's the the company who, or the, the people who own Walmart, the Walmart company, the Walton family, at the time this book was published, they were worth $136 billion. Wow, that is a lot of money. What would you do if you had $136 billion? How would you spend it? Where would you invest it? What would you do with that much money? Um, even if you had all that money, that money still wouldn't buy happiness. It wouldn't buy a family. It wouldn't buy people to love you. And it wouldn't buy the most precious gift of all, forgiveness and eternal life through Jesus Christ. All the money in the world can't buy those things. So there's some things that even are more valuable than money. Well, if you've asked Jesus to forgive your sins, then you are part of God's family and you have the most valuable thing you could have. Your sins are forgiven, your heart is clean, and you are promised an eternal life in heaven with Jesus forever. And that is a priceless gift. That is better than anything money could buy. But there's another gift that God's family can have, and it's called the baptism in the Holy Spirit. It's a powerful gift that Jesus promised to send after he returned to heaven. He promised to send to the disciples. And in this verse we just read, it said, it's for you and your children and for all who are far off or all whom the Lord our God will call. So this is for all the people who love Jesus forever. So we qualify. We're people that can have this gift of the Holy Spirit. And what, it, what the gift of the baptism in the Holy Spirit does for us, it gives us power to live our lives like Jesus. It gives us the power to share the truth about Jesus with other people. And it, um, the Holy Spirit comes inside of us to live as a helper and a guide. So when we need help, we say, God, please let your Holy Spirit let me know what to do in this situation. And the Holy Spirit will whisper and give us words to know what to do in every situation. So that's pretty good stuff. He helps us understand God's word when we read it and God's plan for our life. Isn't that an amazing inheritance? As one of God's children, you get to inherit the Holy Spirit. That is awesome. Well, guess what? How do you get the Holy Spirit? How do you get anything from your Father? You ask. You just ask. Jesus said, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. So let's ask our Father to fill us with the power of the Holy Spirit and that inheritance that he promised. Let's ask right now. Dear Jesus, thank you that you said in your word that this promise is for all who are far off. Well, we're far off from you and we're far off from your disciples. So that must mean it's for us. So we ask you, Jesus, fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Fill us with an overwhelming sense of your presence and your power so we can have the power to live for you, so we can have the power to tell others about you, and we can have a comforter and a guide living inside us, the Holy Spirit. Please send that to us right now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Wow. It's so good to know that you can have God's presence in you all the time and that power. So keep seeking, keep asking, keep knocking, and let God fill you up. And if you um, have an experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit that you want to share with us, please put it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. All right, that's it for right now. I love you guys. It's time to go out with a blessing song. So let's sing this song together.